All right, to get started, we have some Tombow double-sided tape to get some of these pages connected together. And I have some different stickers that I picked up off of Etsy to help me with content planning. And then I have some box stickers because I'm the box lady. So we have some cute moody fall and black box stickers. And then I also have some dividers that we'll use. And then we have my planner. So in the planner, we open it up. First thing that we're gonna do is go to this section. This is where we will be able to do block scheduling. So it has times on there. And what we're gonna do is I don't need the, con the calendar section of this planner because I use a big desk calendar for the month. And that's what I'm gonna keep using. So we're gonna go through and just tape this off because we don't need it. I don't need the task list. I won't be using this section, but it is attached to the section that we need next. So we have to keep it in here or I would just completely pull it out. I'm gonna leave the weekly sections in here because I might end up using those for pre-planning for the next week. So we're gonna leave those there. And then we have another section with that same design. So we're just gonna leave it the way it is for now because I don't want to, I'll see if maybe I need to set it up a little bit differently. Next up we have October. And for October, we're not going to be using the monthly section of this, but I am going to use the weekly section. So this is the current week that we're on and we're gonna go ahead and plan for it. So what I'm doing here is setting goals for the month. So on this page, there's two kind of sections, I guess, for two separate goals. Now I actually have three goals for the month, but one of them is a personal goal, which I'm not putting here on these two pages. But the way that these pages are set up I took some white out and went over them because I don't need what they say. I needed to change those. So I took the white out, put over top of them, and then I also put boxes over them and I wrote in what I wanted it to be. So the first little block there that has the number one, this is my goal, to, like the title, I guess, of the goal. So it's about my website, getting it completely set up and ready to start adding content to. Underneath of that box, I have it for a weekly breakdown. What needs to happen for week one, week two, week three? And then um, I haven't got week four on there just yet, but for the box on the right side that has number three, the box I'm writing in right now, this is kind of just like a general task list. Just some things that I was coming up with just to throw onto paper. Now I will have a separate section um, kind of later on. It's not in this video, but I will have tasks lists like a bigger task list where I break things down more and get more detailed with it. But this was just like a general brain dump. Now, the second goal that I have down at the bottom, the first box, it says content. What I wanna do is be more consistent with creating content for YouTube and for Instagram and potentially add Pinterest later on because I mean, I love Pinterest. Is Pinterest dead? I have no idea. Um, I love it, so I would like to use Pinterest. But for the goal title, I have content and I put create consistent, valuable content on YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. The second box below that, I put the weekly breakdown again. This has week one, week two, week three. And I think for week four, what I may do for both of them is kind of go back and review like what needs to happen, what did I miss, kind of catch up, anything like that. And then again, the, th the third box has the tasks list as a brainstorm for what I need to do. And then the next page, this one says top priority list. So what I did here is in the first box, my number one priority is to be consistent. So that's creating consistent content for you guys. And I have to be realistic with the time I have 
and what I'm trying to create. So for example, I wrote down one video a week on YouTube and then posting daily on Instagram with photos and reels. The second priority is to create valuable content. So this is not about me. This is about creating content for you guys that, that helps you that you guys enjoy. And then the third one I did was for creativity. Um, I want to create, I just want to explore and I want to try new things and I want to try some different things with video editing, um, learn maybe a new software or something. Not all at once. This will take time for sure, but just little bits of creativity and trying something new in my posts or in my videos or anything like that. So that's what I use that for. I don't have, I didn't put five priorities down. I might come up with more and add them later. I might not. That's okay. But these are the three that I want to focus on when I'm working on my goals. Now I'm going to plan for the week and I didn't do a big, cute, fun, decorative spread. I'm probably not going to do decorative spreads. I really just need this to be super functional and I need it to be quick, um, which decorative planning can be quick, but I'm not going for that. I'm going for function right now. I might add stickers, more stickers in the future. I might not, we'll see. But for now, I do have a few stickers I'm using. One of them is a little stethoscope with a heartbeat. This is to put the stickers down for my work schedule because like I've said my work schedule dictates a lot of what I can and cannot do or create so work schedule goes first and then what I'm doing with the weekly with the planner is I'm taking the things that I planned for for the entire week on the desk calendar that I have and I'm breaking those things down into daily tasks so if I know that I have a video I want to publish on Friday, I need to have a day that I'm filming that video, I'm editing that video, and getting it scheduled for you guys. Um, I have a content day where I'm creating content for for Instagram, um, you know, coming soon, maybe Pinterest. Don't hold me to that because I'm not for sure if I want to do Pinterest yet or not, but I'm thinking about it. So it's just breaking things down, knowing when things are going to be posted, when I need to do things, and then you'll see in just a few minutes on the left side... I'm only using the two boxes at the top. One of them is for my goals. So these are things that I need to get done for my goals to help me reach those. The other one is just a general to-do list. Now in this planner, I'm also adding some personal things. I have grocery pickup scheduled that I have inside of here. My son's Cub Scout meeting. Um, I'm also a home health nurse. So I work at a hospital and I do home health. So I have um, my patients in here. So it's it's a kind of a catch-all planner, which is what I've always done is made um, my happy planner a catch-all planner. But this one's really for goals and that kind of thing, setting or creating content for you guys and knowing when I need to do each task. These are the two boxes I was talking about using on this page. Again, the first box is for the tasks that I need to do to help me reach my goals. The second one is just a general to-do list. Below that, it says calls, emails, noted, and focus on. Probably not gonna be using those at all, so I've just left them blank for now. Here's what my desktop calendar looks like. It looks pretty empty right now, but I plan content on a week by week basis. So towards the end of October, it'll look more full. And I do have a color coded key on the right side. This tells me what each color is for. All right, let's take a look at how both of these work together, my planner and the calendar so instead of using the monthly section inside of the planner I have found that this worked so much better for me for the month of September so I'm going to stick to this it gives me more room more planning space I can add stickers if I want here is an example of a completed calendar so this was for the month of September I started it here on the 5th and I stuck to it consistently. And this is what really, really helped me be able to create content consistently, which is very, very important to me. So I had this 
for September and it worked amazing and I'm going to keep doing that for October. So this is the monthly calendar that I will be using. I won't be using the monthly calendar in my planner and my planner will not be going anywhere with me. So when I work, I'm a nurse and the days that I work, I work 12 hour shifts. So I don't need my planner. It's not something that I can do at work. So um, the only other places I go would be to like pick up groceries or take my kiddo to Cub Scouts or something like that. So I don't need to take my planners with me on the go. Keeping them inside of my shed is where they need to be. Now my planner might go into my house with me. So I just want to clarify that um, because I will sometimes be working in, in the evenings. But as far as taking it with me, it doesn't need to be. So it's not imperative that the stuff here is in the monthly section of my planner. So when we open this up and take a look at it, I have sticky notes in the front. I love having sticky notes in my planner. This first section, this is where I planned out my goals for the month. The two main goals that I have with content planning. First off is getting my website set up. The second one is about being consistent and creating value-driven content for you guys. So I already talked about those. I talked about the priorities list that I set up. Then when we flip it over, this is where I will block schedule my week. Now today is Wednesday and I did not block schedule today, but I will start tomorrow with block scheduling my day. Um, I do have priorities set for Saturday and Sunday. I don't know that I will write anything down for these because I work both of those days. And again, I work 12 hour shifts. So um, that's what this whole section here is for, is for block scheduling. Now I decided to leave these two in here. This one says things to follow up on and weekly focus. I probably won't use them for what they say if I use them at all. And if I use them, it would be for pre-planning for the upcoming week, which would be like this week, for example. So I left those there for now. And I have three, two months, sorry, two months worth of the, this section where I can block schedule my day. Then we flip over and we have October. Again, not using the monthly section. This is the weekly section. This works with this on a regular basis. Here is where I plan out the content each and every single week. This is where I plan the things that need to get done to get that content created. This week, I'm a little bit behind. I was working on a, a big project the last couple of weeks, so I'm trying to kind of play catch up this week, which happens. But the goal each week is to have one day set for planning content, one day for actually creating the content. So taking the photos for Instagram, um, filming and editing and scheduling any kind of YouTube videos I have. And literally that's all that's going to happen in that one day. Now, because I'm a nurse, my schedule is not consistent. Um, so that's on a week by week basis. And I'm actually okay with planning content on a week by week basis. I would love to be able to have um, an entire month worth of content planned out for you guys and like already know what I need to be doing each week, but that's just not realistic for me. But that's how my planner and my calendar work together. For the rest of the planner, I have October in here, November and December. And then this back section just has no paper. So if I need to take notes for anything, I can do that with this paper. So, all right guys, that's how I'm using my planner along with my desk calendar to plan content for the week.